Welcome to the channel. Today, unfortunately, I have to cut the old tire rack off the trailer here. So, um, yeah, a little explanation before I just get right into hacking this thing off the trailer. So, uh, if you guys seen in the last couple of videos, or the last couple of drift event videos, I should say, we have not been using the tire rack on the trailer. Uh, we've been stuffing the tires in the Lexus. Kyle's been stuffing his tires in the 180. AJ stuffs his tires in the E30. So our thoughts here with chopping the tire rack off the trailer, because we see a couple people always saying, oh, every time you go to the drift event, why don't you guys use the tire rack instead of throwing your tires in the cars? The tire rack was super handy when I had the S13 with all the wheels, but now uh, no one's burning that much tire other than maybe Kyle nowadays, but Kyle carries enough tire to just stick in the 180. So we want to cut this off, put this inside the shop because I'll show you guys that in a second, but we have a bunch of wheels all over the place. We don't have the space on the tire rack that I made for the three piece wheels. So we're going to use this tire rack as a spare, not spare so much because we need the storage, but yeah, we're going to put this tire rack inside the shop and use it for shop tire storage so yeah we'll go inside I'll show you why I'm crying about it right now so as you can see we will take a step into the shop here into our super messy GAN shop but yeah we're working on this corner here slowly by slowly less and less garbage we really just got to get this couch out of here honestly I'm thinking we get this couch out of here and put the trailers tire rack right there because as you can see, we are basically maxed out on uh, capacity here. I see a spot there, maybe two spots there, but three open spots and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I got four more over there. So there's 14 more wheels that need a home. So yeah, I don't know, maybe move these toolboxes over to the left and then shove the tire rack right there or get rid of this couch, put the tire rack right there. I don't really know where the tire rack is gonna go, but I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the nifty GoPro chest mount here in a second, and we will get the first person view of me chopping the tire rack off the trailer because no one's here today. Kyle's at work, AJ's in Vegas, Jazzy, Trevor, Ryan Bell, everyone's at work. It's noon, shitty day out today. I'm here alone, um, and today, like these are the days that I actually want to get stuff done outside because it's like whatever, I don't even know what today is, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, something like that. But we got a cool day here, as you can see, I'm in a hoodie, don't forget to pick up your Scrand and Gange merch, but it's a little cooler out today, the sun's not beating down on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff done outside. All right, so here we go. I got this nifty battery powered Sawzall here. So a little bit of explanation before I start hacking away at this thing. The reason we wanna take this off, I just explained, we wanna use it for tire rack storage inside the shop. But the other reason we wanna get rid of it, uh, this is AJ's request here. He wants the tire rack gone so we can put the generator here when we're going to events so that we don't have to bring the Baconator every time or we're not worried about how the generator is getting there. So this tire rack is getting removed so that we could just plop the generator, boom, right down here in the front and uh yeah so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine legs to cut off oh this is gonna suck let's just appreciate it for what it was we drove around with this thing we used the trailer a lot and the tire rack never broke off never flexed not a single weld cracked so yeah i'm pretty happy with the way that this tire rack came out i'm pretty happy with my garbage welding skills as well this was all done on the harbor freight flux core titanium welder the cheap one too so yeah, if any of you guys are scared of welding structural pieces, like pieces that require structural integrity or they will rip off and kill people, uh, Harbor Freight Welder definitely can do it. There was at least one video where we had this tire rack loaded up and went to the event. So we definitely used it for tires a couple of times. So I don't wanna hear anyone saying, oh, that only lasted so long because you guys never used it and there was no weight on it. We had weight on it. We've had this thing loaded up before with all of our tires and wheels, RV spare, trailer spare. Yeah, this is not new. We'll see how this goes. I'm thinking I'm just gonna chop the welds yep. and not slice through the material. Well, I think I just clapped the fuck out of this blade, but YOLO.
Holy fuck, that was a lot of work. Eight more to go. Jesus. Fuck this. I got one, yeah. We'll call that one done too. That'll bust off when I start flexing it back and forth. Two out of nine. And I'm fucking drenched in sweat and it's cooler out today. This blade is super shot though. I'm gonna try and get a couple more cuts out of it while it lasts. God, shit. I'm gonna take a five minute break. This sucks. All right, so I got that one cut, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. I actually cheated. I cut them like three quarters of the way just because the Sawzall, I still haven't switched blades as you can see, uh, but the Sawzall was getting jammed on some of the corners here. So I cut them like three quarters of the way and then I took that sledgehammer and then just broke the remainder of the pieces. I think this one gave me trouble, this one, that middle one, as you could see, it's all deformed because I was beating it with that sledgehammer right there. But I am so out of breath right now. I cannot stand using a Sawzall. There was probably a better tool for this, but I didn't cut the two right there just because my hands are so clapped, arms are clapped. Uh, so I'm just going to try to break this off the rest of the way. Flex it off. Ugh. Nope. I might have to actually... Uh, I'm going to have to do the same method on those two. Cut them three-quarter, beat them off with the sledgehammer. Man, this is, this is annoying. But at least we'll have generator room and more tire and wheel storage. I'm, you guys have no idea. I am so sick of this tool. I probably should go get a new blade. There's a bunch of teeth missing, but... These blades are taxed nowadays, so I'm going to send it. Oh, God, I'm sick of this shit. I might be able to get those. Nope. I am not strong enough to twist and break my own welds. I guess that's good. And bad, bad because more work, good because I trust my welds even more now. Oh, and that's that. Sawzall just died. Oh man. Let me give a couple of wax here. If I could bust this one, I might be able to break it off. Nope. That is definitely not going to break. Oh, man, my laziness is really getting the best of me today. I'm gonna try to break this off. I just don't want this to let go and snap and then hurt me. So, let's just maybe twist it back. Drop it on the jack of the trailer. Oh, that's definitely working, but it's really heavy. And if I get the welds to break, I need them to break backwards so that this doesn't come up and cut me in the face. Jeez, this is so gange. Oh, that was almost it. Oh my God, I need more muscle out here. See what Tay Tay's up to. All we gotta do is just push this over. I don't want either of us getting hurt. Fuck. You think we could roll it back? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Just get this off the fucking trailer. There, watch out, watch out. Jeez. No, I actually cut these and then the saws all died. Saws all died. Oh, it was that it? No, no. 
Not happening. It'll happen. It'll happen. We'll get there. Here, go, go up. Go up. Go straight the fuck up. Yeah. I say flip it right yeah, back. Push it, your way push it off. Watch out, watch out. Right, what a quality guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah finally. Nice. Thing's kind of fucking heavy. A bit. Thanks, Tay Tay. No oh, watch your knees, watch your knees. You're gonna get sliced. Alright, let's let's recalculate, recalculate. Can you pull that car out and put it right where you need it? Uh, he ain't here today, but if we could get this here and I can shut the door. I can just wait till the boys get here tomorrow and rearrange the shop, but right. just this guy. As long as we can shut the door. Thank you. All right, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know for a fact I did not enjoy that for one millisecond. So when everyone gets here tomorrow, you guys will probably see it in tomorrow's video. We'll try to take care of this area here, get some of these tires all situated, maybe get rid of the couch. Peace out, links in the description to the new merch.